Hello friends, let me encourage you through the word of God. Living in peace in the world full of uncertainties. Our life before pandemic is very different. We can go any, anywhere we want, talk to people without masks, and go to work without fear of being infected with the virus. As we can see, this pandemic has changed the world we used to live. We have now what we call the new normal. Education methods have changed, churches have closed for how many months? Even now, marami pa rin simbahan na wala pang physical gathering. Lalo na sa mga lugar na mataas ang kaso ng COVID. And obviously, many of us became uncertain of the future. But wait! In Psalms 27 verse 13 to 14, it says, I will remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. In verse 14, wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart, and wait for the Lord. This is the prayer of David that speaks about his faith to God. When false witnesses rose up against him, and threatened to take away his life in verse 12. This situation makes him uncomfortable, troubled, and uncertain of the future. But in spite of the fact, he chose to remain confident in God. He chose to trust God. This is the result of his faith in God because he knows the one he follows. It's hard to follow someone you don't know but David knows God confidently. The popular proverb says, Seeing is believing. But the scripture reverses that proverb, Believing is seeing. When you believe, you will see God's goodness even in most difficult situation. David said, I will see the goodness of God in the land of the living. We can't see God's goodness if we only focus on the problem around us. Kaibigan, usap tayo. Isa ka ba sa nawalan ng trabaho dahil sa pandemya? Are you afraid of what the future may bring? Are you troubled? Nag-alala ka? Sa ano pang maaari mangyari? There is hope that we can hold on to. And we can trust that it will come to pass. In verse 14, wait for the Lord, be strong, and wait for the Lord. Rick Warren said that waiting is always the season to listen and learn. God has some things to teach before He answers our prayers. While we are waiting, God is working. So in this world of full of uncertainties, to have peace, let us be like David. Let us remain confident in God. Let us put our trust in Him. Let us wait upon Him, knowing that He is the God who is in control. Remember, when God is in control, nothing will happen that is out of control. And rest assured, we will see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Let God be God. God bless you all.